Today we're here with Teresa Beagle, a registered sleep technician at Endeavor Testing Center. Teresa has now received the Apnea Link Air back into the clinic. We are going to show you how to do the patient data download. Teresa is going to start by uh, going to Internet Explorer and typing air in airview.resmed.com. Again, this is something that you could save to your favorites and have an icon on your desktop. Now she's going over to the login. You will be putting your assigned username and assigned password into the system. Every clinical user at every QuadMed clinic will have an assigned username and assigned password. Next she is going to click login. She is going up to the patient drop down bar and clicking on to diagnostic. Next, she's going to scroll over to the left. There is a device download at the top. She is going to click on to device download. Next, it's asking her to connect an Apnea Link Air device. She is going to put the mini port into the Apnea Link Air device, which is already attached to the desktop. And then she is going to select and click on continue. This has now shown that this is the patient which we put in the system, Dwayne Block, who's an employee here, his date of birth, and it's going to ask if we want to start the download. Teresa is going to select yes, start download. On the screen it also shows the serial number of the device that the test was completed and the duration time of the test. You can see that the test was completed and the test duration is 6 hours and 21 minutes. It is waiting for the uh, data to be downloaded and that's what we are looking at at the screen right now. If this device had obtained two nights of data or three nights of data, it would pick the night with the longest time period on it to download. This only had one night of data on it. Teresa's scrolling down. There is an area where it says Analysis Guidelines. It says AASM 2007. We are going to click on there and pick AASM 2012 and click Reanalyze. Again, it's thinking. Teresa is the registered sleep tech here at Endeavor, one of the few that we have here, and she will be actually manually scoring this after this is put into the system by your clinic. All right, this report is ready to go. All you have to do now is disconnect your device, and you are done. The device can be cleaned, the batteries taken out, and get ready for another patient. This now will go into the system for the registered sleep technologist to um, score and get to the interpreting sleep physician, which is Dr. Reeder in this case. Well, we can go back up to patients. We go to diagnostics, and I want to show you the patient dashboard. We're going to look for Dwayne Block's name. I'm going to scroll over to the left where his name is, Teresa and then move over to the right and we're going to look underneath the status area. When we set the device out on Duane, you were given a black icon of a person in a bed. That has now gone to green because the test was completed. Now it's moved over to what it terms physician reviewing. This is the portion that we go in as your sleep clinic and the registered sleep technician sees that the patient is ready to be scored. Teresa then will score it and it will be moved over to Dr. Reeder 
And once Dr. Reeder has done the interp, as you can see on the patient below, that Teresa just arrowed to, it will move to a green report, right to the right of the patient. That means that study is completely done and will be sent to your EMR. That's all we need to do. Then just log out.